and I could have been preparing for class, but instead, I was at the beach. Hey everyone, it's Joe. I'm the Kosher Ninja, and I've traded in my hiking boots for library books, and I'm in Israel doing a master's degree. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. I hope you'll stick around, subscribe, ring the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. But right now, we're going to talk about my first impressions about my new classes. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about what my first impressions were about my schedule and my workload. And also, am I the only adult in the room? We'll find out. And also a little bit about my ulpan and where I sit in the scheme of my Hebrew skills. This is my first impressions. Let's get to it. So yeah, this was my first week of school and um, I should have talked about my first days of classes a little bit more during, <laughs> during the actual week. Today is Shabbat. It was kind of hard to bring you guys along because <laughs> I was gonna bring you down for like first day of class, but as I stepped out the door, one of my classmates walked up and um, we were looking for the room together, so it was kind of hard. My, my Thursdays are kind of a full day. I don't start till late. I start at 1.45, but then I go literally straight through until quarter to nine with like 15 minute breaks in between classes. There is one half hour break between, I think, the first two classes and then it's all 15 minute breaks. So I have to definitely make sure that I have snacks and maybe even my dinner with me on Thursday because, you know, blood sugar, that blood sugar thing. Then my second day, so Friday is kind of a half day in Israel anyways because Saturday is Shabbat. And so I have two classes on Friday. One is a lab for research methods. And the other one actually looks like a really cool class. It's about open society and basically democracy and its new enemies. And so that looks really, really interesting. And I can't wait. Um, it's really weird, like, School is very different. In some ways, it's the same. So some of my classes are very similar to, so far anyways, to what we did before, like 20 and 30 years ago. <laughs> but this Open Society class, he's uploading lectures before the class. So we're going to watch the lectures in a YouTube video before the class, and then we're going to go into class and discuss it and there may be some readings short readings to go with it and then we're just going to discuss it in class so it's a little bit different from anything i've ever done before but it sounds really interesting the subject matter the prof is really cool really amazing um, really smart and has a I think a pretty broad perspective on the issues so and the class itself is full of people who are highly opinionated um, so it's gonna be quite lively I'm sure and uh, yeah totally looking forward to it and um, so tomorrow in the afternoon I have my first Ulpan which is a Hebrew lesson and I've been put in Kita Bet, which is the second level. And this is, has me a little bit anxious. So I'm hoping that the Kita Bet won't be too hard. <laughs> I know that Kita Aleph would be too basic. And um, so I was kind of thinking I need to be in Aleph and a half or something. <laughs> But um, I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait to see how that class goes and actually learn some Hebrew. It's only once a week, so it's not as immersive 
especially with all the international students here in the dorms, we end up speaking English all the time. So it's not as immersive as I would like in order to really learn Hebrew, but it's definitely a start and we'll see where it goes. Then I have another class on a Wednesday afternoon that was canceled this past week because of graduation ceremonies that were taking place on campus. So I still have to see what that class is going to be like, but from what I've seen so far, it looks like it's going to be a very interesting year and tough in a lot of ways, but it's hard to tell so far how much work it's going to be. Um, there's, I think, two or three exams and all the rest are going to be assignments and papers and take-home exams. So, um, mostly because of, I think, because of COVID, um, I think there would have been more exams in the past, but I'm actually happy about that. Exams have a tendency to stress me out because, um, yeah, just because of my history with exams in law school. <laughs> um, but at the same time, papers are a lot of work. So looking forward to it, I may, after a couple of weeks or a few weeks, I may actually have to slow down my schedule with the videos just so that I can get all my work done. Um, school obviously being my priority while I'm here. So, oh, I actually have met some people. So I don't know if I mentioned this. I don't think I mentioned this. In my, in my Thursday classes, there's a guy in one of my class, in actually two of my classes who He's US military and um, he's kind of almost my age. Um, I think he's a little bit younger, but probably early 40s, I'm gonna say. And um, yeah, it was, I hadn't really thought about it until I met him and had a chat with him, but it was such a breath of fresh air to actually relate to somebody <laughs> adult. <laughs> Now, most of these, most of the kids in my group, in my program, they're like mid-20s and some of them are sort of late 20s, maybe early to mid-30s. So my, my group isn't exactly straight from high school, but a lot of the kids on campus are. And um, so it was just really nice <laughs> to, uh, to relate to somebody more my age. And then today I went to worship services and there was somebody there also who who is actually she's doing her master's in Tel Aviv at Tel Aviv University but she was probably I'm gonna say mid to late 40s and um, so that was also just really refreshing just to be able to relate to somebody who is doing what I'm doing, knows what I'm going through, understands, and also to know that neither one of us is alone. And her group is actually much smaller than mine. And um, <laughs> the kids in her class are, are pretty young. And um, so I think she was also happy to, to see that somebody else is also going back to school and can relate to her. So that was really nice. All right, well, the question about my Hebrew language skills was solved yesterday. So I had my first class of Ulpan, and um, actually I got the email a few days ago saying that my placement was gonna be in Kita Bet. So there's four levels in the school. There's Kita Aleph, Kita Bet, Kita Gimel and Kita Dalet. So I'm in Bet, which is basically still kind of a beginner level course, but it's not like the absolute, absolute beginner. Um, we had our first class yesterday and it was actually really good. It was, a, it was challenging, but not so challenging that um, I felt like I was completely lost the whole time. <laughs> Um, 
and the teacher was really great. She had some technical difficulties, so the class was a little bit of a balagan, but I'm looking forward to the class next week. Hopefully, I fully expect that she's gonna have the issues sorted out. So um, it looks like it's gonna be a fun class. So what do you think? Anybody else out there overwhelmed with the first week or two of going back to school, especially as a mature student? Tell me about it in the comments down below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up or two thumbs up. Subscribe, ring the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos and share with your friends. And I can't wait to see you again next time. Until then, thanks for watching and shalom, eh?